Hi there. Um, this afternoon I've been playing with Sonic Pi and using it to control both Ableton Live 10 and also um, my Arturia Matrix Brute Synth. Um, we're using MIDI to do this, I'm sending um, MIDI notes to the Matrix Brutes uh, here in this live loop. Uh, it's based on a series of chords and changing the density with which the notes are played. Um, I'm also sending a clock signal to the Arturia because um, I've got the arpeggio series switched on and I can sync this to the MIDI clock coming from Sonic Pi so that it keeps in step and uh, also the arpeggiator itself will send out its own MIDI stream of the notes that it plays and these are fed to the uh, Live 10 and are going to control um, the first of these channels here which is uh, linked to an ARIA, uh, an ARIA player um, if I click on that, you can see that that has got some uh, selection of um, stringed instruments playing pizzicato um, in an ensemble, and that's what we'll hear on the first channel. Uh, the second channel is an audio channel, and that is having the input from the Arturia, uh, which is fed into it via an interface. Um, you'll notice that the left hand of these two channels is panned to the left. The right hand of these two channels is panned to the right. They are both armed, uh, ready to have some input coming in. And down here I've added um, um, a little patch which enables me to get some OSC messages coming. It's labelled OSC Touch OSC, but in fact I'm using Sonic Pi to drive it and there are two OSC messages it's listening to, one to the address slash left, one to the address slash life, com both coming in on port 7099. And the first of these is mapped to this volume control here, this slider, and the second is mapped to this uh, slider here. And they are going to alternately move up and down, uh, controlled by this live loop over here in Sonic Pi and it's basically going to fade one in as the other fades out. It's then going to wait for about seven seconds and then it's going to change over. So you'll hear both first the um, the samples played from the, by the ARIA player and then you'll hear the output of the um, Arturia Matrix Brute. So that's uh, basically the plan and the overall output of the um, Ableton Live is fed back into Sonic Pi um, as live audio here and there's some reverb uh, applied to it um, and in that way we get the combined output which you'll see um, shown on the graph up here in Sonic Pi and that's what's being recorded on the video that I'm, that I'm making. Also down here is the um, output of my iPad and that's going to enable me to show you the um, Arturia and this is the section that we're interested in, the arpeggiator and some of the controls that we may actually alter while the program is running so that we can control uh, quite a lot of stuff um, and we can do that now by starting Sonic Pi running so let's do that and you'll hear the sounds Now we're listening to the Arturia coming in. At the moment the arpeggio is playing with quite long notes. They're set to um, quarter down here. I'm going to change them to 16th notes, which will speed up things a bit, a bit too much. That's because I've got the triplets as well. Let's switch that back to well, notes that's better. And as the tutorial comes up, to make the notes it plays a bit more than I increase the gate time, or reduce it, increase it again. It's now fading out, and the other one's fading in. Things like adjusting the dry wetness of the chorus effect. Back to the straight. And 
we look over here, you can see the sliders moving. A little white arrowhead moving down now. Now moving up on the left hand one. And you can see the OSC messages over here, which are being sent to do that. Can't quite see the whole thing because um, Sonic has a bit not too far over. Let's just take that away and see if we can move it over slightly and you can see the sliders, the values. Oh yeah, I can see actual values there, which are being sent, changing every second, and then there's a pause when we get to the top of the bottom. Let's now add some swing, so we've actually got some swing tips, swing off, down here, that's the swing there, the second one, take that right out, we'll change to phosphorus. Then we put those back on to triplets which will pass them. So let's So you can see that it's possible to get a whole range of uh, different things happening with this and I hope you've enjoyed looking at the video. It's a great combination, Sonic Pi, Ableton Live and the Matrix Boot. And, uh, very easy to use Sonic Pi to control various aspects as we can see.